Welcome to OChecker, Detection of Malicious Documents Through Deviation from File Format Specifications. Uh, we're in the Jasmine Ballroom with Yuhei Otsubo. Uh, before we begin, a few brief notes. Stop by the business hall located in Bayside AB. The Black Hat Arsenal is on the Palm Foyer on Level 3. And of course, the Arsenal Reception at 5 o'clock. If you haven't picked up your merchandise today, it, it is your last day and last chance, sorry, to visit the Black Hat, Black Hat Schwag Bookstore uh, and visit the Cali Linux Lab in Mandalay Bay A. Uh, and thanks in advance for putting your phone on vibrate. It makes it easier for the rest of us to ignore the ringing while you wait for your voicemail to pick it up. And here we go. Thank you. Hello. Um, I'm Yuhei Otsubo, National Police Agency of Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about my document malware detection tool, OCHECKER. My presentation uh, consists of two, two parts. The first one is an introduction to OCHECKER. The second one is a demo to show you how, to, how OCHECKER works. I guess targeted email attacks would be a big issue in your country. Typically, a targeted email attack is carried out with malware attached to an email. This pie chart shows the five types of malicious attachments found in 2014. The document file account for around 60% in total. This 60% is not a small number. So that is the reason I created OCHECKER to detect those malicious document files. Now, let me talk about the, the overview of OCHECKER. OCHECKER is a document malware detection tool, but its target is limited to droppers. One of the benefits of OCHECKER is that it can detect document malware without executing malicious code. So it is safe to use. And the result is independent of analysis environment. OCHECKER focuses on the deviation from document file format specification. The spec specifications are stable and available in open source. OCHECKER can detect document malware with a fairly high rate. Here, I mention the type of a malicious document file. I gathered various malicious document files. In the case of targeted email attacks, most of malicious document files are droppers. On the, other, on the other hand, in the case of opportunistic attack, most of malicious document files are downloaders. Why? In the case of targeted attacks, Victims are tricked into opening malicious doc documents because the email have charming title and body. If the malware does not show any document, the victims most uh, the victim notice that this email is suspicious, and the infection will get notice in a short time. So. Document malware, document malware shows a decoy document file to reduce vigilance. To show the decoy document file reliably and quickly, document malware tends to be a dropper. In this slide, I'd like to briefly talk about how OCHECKER detects malware. The left half of this slide 
shows the state of a Benny document file format. Generally, Microsoft Word, Excel, PDF, and other document files have the different file format. Based on each file format, document processing software displays its content. For example, Microsoft Word for Word document file, Microsoft Excel for Excel spreadsheet, Adobe Reader for PDF file. In the case of malicious document files, executable files and decoy document, uh, decoy document files are forcibly pushed into uh, the document file. But this extra data is not displayed by document processing software. So the malicious executable file is present in the stored content, but not present in the displayed content. This, mis this mismatch between the displayed content and stored content causes the deviations from file format specifications. OCHECKER checks these deviations to detect malicious document files. I obtain various document, various malicious document files from Japanese organization. These samples were actually used in the targeted email attacks. The break of the breakdown of the obtained samples is shown in this slide. Among the listed file types, you may not be familiar with JTD file. JTD file is used in the Japanese word processor named Ichitaro. So Ichitaro is as famous as Microsoft Word in Japan. So where vulnerability of Ichitaro is found, it is often used in targeted email attacks. Ochekka checks eight kinds of deviations from document file format specifications. As I do not have time enough to cover all the deviation structure, please refer to my white paper for more information. Here, I explain the uh, in the exam example of what I call PDF deviation. PDF file consists of various kinds of objects that forms document structure, and we can grasp the overview by tracing the link of trailer object first. All objects should have a road. But the object that attacker embedded has no rule at all, which means no object can refer to the object. If you find such object in PDF file, there might be a high possibility of malicious PDF file. Now, I'm going to briefly show you how to use OCHECKER. OCHECKER requires Python. So OCHECKER can run any OSs uh, as long as PDF is installed. Usually, no additional package is necessary to run OCHECKER. However, if you'd like to analyze an encrypted PDF file, PyCrypt is required to de deal with encryption in the PDF file. In normal use, no parameter is up required. At the bottom of this slide, a command example is shown. You only need to give the sus file to OCHECKER. 
I'd like to start or check a demonstration. I will show you how OCheckr works with a malicious PDF file. As I mentioned, all you have to do is passing a document file as a parameter to OCheckr.py. If the file contains a deviation, OCheckr shows malicious message. If the file does not contain any deviation, OCHECA shows none message. In this demo, you can find the document file is malicious because OCHECA shows malicious message. Now, I would like to show you how to analyze document, document file by OCHECA. I explained this with the previous PDF file. OCHECA's components contain pdfanalysis.py that can analyze PDF files. Let's pass the previous malicious PDF file onto pdfanalysis.py as a parameter. You can see a bunch of logs on the screen. These logs so a structure of the PDF file that was passed on as parameter. OCHECA analyzes the structure of the PDF file and shows the offset address of each object and shows each object relationship. That can help you to grasp the basic structure of the PDF file. Let me explain this with an example. You can see that there is information about XML metadata in object number seven. Now, let's open this PDF file for testing. This PDF file requires a password. Actually, this PDF file is encrypted with AES encryption. PDF file encryption, as a matter of fact, uh, only encrypts the object about strings and streams, which means that the PDF structure is still intact, and all checker can check the PDF file structure. So let's have look at analysis of this PDF file in detail. OCHECA can decrypt PDF file encrypted with AES. The, the P option specifies password. Black hat is this PDF file, file's password. You can see more information than last line because stream object are decrypted. For example, you can see uh, yeah. You can see that there is uh, information about JavaScript in object number eight. Yeah. You can see the information of each object by specifying command line option. The O op option specifies object number to show.
And then, all checker show the information in JSON format. As you can see on the screen, uh, JavaScript instance is stored in object number 11. So the object defined in each tag can be exported in JSON. Streams which store binary data are encoded by various filters. With the S option, all checker can decode streams and export the decoded data. The usage of S option is the same as O option. The contents of the stream are displayed. Ocheka can easily export exploit code from an AES encrypted PDF file. I would like to mention PDF, PDF file encryption for a short time. You can decrypt a PDF file with either two password, owner password, and user password. Owner password is for editing. User password is just for browsing. If user password is specified as empty, the browsing software does not require a password, and the contents will be displayed quickly. However, there are few analysis tools that can decrypt AES. It is difficult to analyze Clever attacker knows this characteristic very well. So that's why most of PDF, uh, most of malicious PDF files are encrypted. If PDF files encrypted, Ocheka try to decrypt these files with empty password. If the dec decryption is fail, it has no problem for detecting malware. As I mentioned, PDF file encryption is only encrypted the object about strings and streams, which means that the PDF structure is still intact, and all checker can check the file format structure. This is the end of all checker introduction. The deviation detection methods implemented into all checker might not be so complicated, but document malware detection rate is very high. I hope my presentation is beneficial for you. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>